A lot of people gathered at the Marina Beach today to support the anti-corruption movement and Anna Hazare. So, uh, just to give you a glimpse of how it looked in Chennai today. Go ahead and check it out. So what we did today was uh, we actually took uh, printouts, photocopies of uh, the Jan Loko bill draft uh, that was downloaded from Anna Hazare's website. I think it's the latest version, it's version 1.81 uh, at this point in time. So uh, we went with this document and uh, we questioned a couple of people. Uh, and uh, we interviewed them, we asked them if they had had the opportunity to review the bill, the document, and understand the contents of that particular bill, which people are protesting uh, to be passed uh, in the parliament and, you know, become a law and fight corruption, whatever. And uh, as expected, uh, about nine out of ten people have not read the bill, and uh, the ones that claimed to have read the bill uh, did not recognize uh, any of the things that we brought up that were uncomfortable about the bill uh, in itself. Uh, for example, uh, section 6.2b, uh, section 27, uh, section 35, I mean, a couple of things that I can remember off the bat, uh, were something people didn't recognize and uh, did not know existed, and some of them were pretty okay with such provisions. So, uh, in my personal opinion, I think these are extremely disturbing things about the general for bill, but then uh, your opinion might be different. So what I'm simply going to do is, uh, I'm going to put up text about uh, what those provisions are, uh, and uh, I will also put a link where you can go download uh, the bill in PDF format and uh, review it yourself so that you can critically consider uh, what exactly is being made available by Azari and Cole uh, and you don't arrive at your own conclusions. Thank you.